16 horses. 16 stalls. We've got all these pens. There's a lot of poop. They yeah. put out a lot of poop. And these kids have to get their fingers dirty. You know, they get dirty all over. You look at them. And they're happy as clams. Because I think that a lot of you at Harvard are animal deficient. And so this, this kind of solves a lot of things for a lot of kids. Even ones that have never seen a horse before, hardly. They just come out here and they love it. Played polo before they came to college, and in fact, Albany, who you saw, it, did very well for us. Had not ridden before he came to Harvard. It's a coaching challenge. <laughs> I guess I'd say that, but I was proud of him today. If you talk to many of them, you'll see that it's become a very big experience for them. I think getting out of Cambridge, getting in the country. Mocking out stalls. And cows for the ball with the score. Fell off a lot to start with, um, but I really enjoyed it. It's addictive, and so it didn't take long for me to kind of find my feet. And then a lot of practice um, has allowed me to develop my game. And I really enjoy playing, making it onto the team. Turn up, JP! Don't stand there! Well done, JP! Get in there! And JP puts it in! If you guys, uh, if you don't have help, if you could get them untacked, that would be great, please. It's from the horse to the, to the mallet, and then actually playing the game is, um, is the progression, and they do very, very well. This is a horse, her name is Chona. Hey, Chona. And she is very shy, very gentle. Um, she's extremely good. And unlike some of these horses, every horse is different. Their personality is different, you ride them differently. This horse is one that if you more or less leave her alone, she'll play the best. If you try to over signal her, she won't. She knows the game better than any of us. And um, she's a sweetheart.